once you're done doing your boba cup or any other cup you want to use we're gonna make the water flow or the waves something like this but the thing is we're gonna make it seamless and loopable so that it doesn't look weird for that i'll be using a symmetry tool in procreate it'll be drawing assist it'll be in drawing guide uh, turn on drawing guide edit drawing guide and then symmetry you can also do this in clip studio paint or any other drawing software but in procreate i'll be using this once you have your symmetry tool ready we're gonna make the waves so how i made the waves was just draw one little curve like that somewhat like a mustache but smoother like that and what i did after that was copy the waves and paste it on their sides and you can see here it's pretty seamless after that we're gonna do the same to the other side but this is made out of a whim once you're done with that it should look something like this much smoother and somewhat bigger basically it will look like this in the boba since we have the waves ready we're gonna duplicate it so that we can just copy it later and start here i want the boba to be mostly full so i want it over here but in procreate i need to turn on animation assist so that you can start animating and every folder basically counts as one frame we add the frame just duplicate the boba it should be easier in other softwares but for now i'll be using this and since we started here we can duplicate this one and then move it a little to the left make sure they're in the same level like that and then we're just gonna keep on doing that until we have a full cycle Okay, in this case, I've already run out of the waves, so that's why we saved the first ever wave we made. And then just paste it on over here. There. We have more waves to work with. I think this is pretty much where we started so what we're gonna do is start erasing the lines that go out of the boba Alright, I'm done erasing the lines and let's see how it looks like. Hey, we got something! So for this, I'll just erase the last frame I did so that it'll blend in much smoother. And let's check. Basically, you're done with the third step. After we've done the third step, we're gonna manually draw 
the water pool at the back. We always need to remember how water works so if you want to do some more research there's a, a lot of YouTube videos about this so the water kind of goes like an infinity so for this I want the water at the back to look somewhat like this then the next frame go a bit lower since it has more area to cover and then do the same on the next frame you can always look back at your animation so that you can check if everything looks normal or natural As it reaches to the other side, you need to remember that water squishes, so it may rise and then fall in the middle and then rise again to the other side. I think my water looks pretty good. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a master animator, but to me this is already looking okay. Since we have both water waves now, we're gonna start coloring. But in my case, I'll just do some simple rendering and coloring for the sake of this video. And I'll be back once I finish it. Okay, I'm done with my rendering. So we're gonna start exporting this and put this in a sprite generator because I can't be bothered to make my own. So to export this, we're gonna export this as PNG files. I'll be sending this to my PC so I'll put this in my Google Drive and make my own folder for this. I'll call this Booba. And we're ready to put this in our PC. Once you're done downloading the PNG files, we're gonna go to CSS Sprites Generator, which is this side, and make the alignment tree as left to right because that's what PNG Tuber Plus uses. And then we're gonna drop all our files here. Now we download it. It's going to turn out into one PNG file. I'll be using my model for this example. Now we're going to add our sprite. 
I put mine in the PNGs, animation, and Len Boba. And your animation sprite will be called Liz. You can name it anything. Now you have the Boba. You must remember how many frames your sprite has. Mine has around 7. So let's put that to 7. And bring this out. I'm just pressing E. And we're gonna adjust the animation speed. There you go. I'll be moving the sprite a little bit so that we can see it. Right now it doesn't have any physics or anything. It's just a sprite alone. And if you want your boba to be shaking, you're gonna press O and then move the WASD keys. I'll put mine, the origin point at the top. There. Origin points are really, really helpful. And I want the rotational drag to be around 15. We're gonna fix that later. Just the Y frequencies. And there you go, you have a boba.